Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Next up is race number four, due off at 14.35. They'll do battle over 2,400 metres. As you know, we are racing on the turf. And for race number four, we have interviews with MJ Udendal, Sipasetle Tlengwa, and also trainer Garth Puller. Yeah, the stable is, is, is going well. We've had, a, we've had quite a good run. Uh, Lemon Saint uh, ran on quite well last time over 19.50. Admittedly, it, was, uh, it wasn't a strong race. Um, personally, I, I, I think she'll need the experience and uh, first time over 2-4, so not bullish about her at all. We stocked my, my good boss, uh, actually worked, him, worked her this morning, she worked very well. Last time was a very great run, improved, so with the weight also 51 and a half, I think she should run close. True Trojan coming on nicely, I think um, I ran him uh, two weeks ago just to get a bit of speed into him. He's a big horse and he's a stayer and he needs to just jack himself up a little bit. But he's coming on nicely and I'm expecting him to run on strongly. Right, let's move on to the betting for race number four. Anti-post number four, Reach for the Stars is trading at seven to two. We have number eight, Josephine's Pride at four to one. Number five, Player X is at 11 to 2, and then 7 to 1 about number 2, Dance to the Music. Rahil, race number four has that open look about it, especially over 2,400 metres. What do you make about this horse number four, Reach for the Stars? After running some decent runs early on, he ran behind Adabar, who's franked the form. I thought once they try him over the 16, he'd be ready to win. They tried him over 1950 with the blinkers on last time out. Twa Twa Cut has come out to win again. What do you make of his chances? He should not be a maiden. That, that's what I truly, truly believe. And, uh... The yard also feel that he should have won quite some time ago, but uh, unfortunately they find themselves uh, still scratching their heads with this individual because uh, he hasn't managed to get it right. And yeah, I, don't, I don't know whether the step up in trip is going to suit him because last time out, I, I just feel that he ran on sort of, uh, he was under pressure a long way out and he made up a bit of ground, but only two positions at the end of the day. I, I'm not quite sure whether we can call him a so-called good thing in this in this lineup, Sheldon. Not quite sure whether the, the extra is going to suit him. If he does manage to stay and travel quite nicely throughout the race for Samanga Kumalo, then he could certainly go close to winning. He's got uh, the likes of number five player X held on held on those runs behind the Paris train and Twa Twa Cut. But um, over this extended trip, anything is possible. Some horses may may arrive on the day and put their best foot forward. Some may not. So. Play X, definitely one that you want to include. Number nine, number eight, Josephine's Pride. Now, his run on debut was eye-catching. And next time out, you would have thought, OK, we can follow this horse with, with confidence, especially over 1,600 metres. But that was far from it because he ran a disappointing race. And it was a disappointing fight behind Canford Ice, even though Aberdeen has come through to win from that piece of form. You give this horse much of a chance, or do you think that... That first run was uh, was just sort of a flash in the pan. Yeah, when you look at that first run, you think that he would build on that yeah. run. So it might have been a flash in the pan. I know the stable do rate this individual. And when you look at the lack of quality, could certainly be the main improver. But number four, reach for the stars. I am with you, 2,400 metres. A little bit of a question mark. Let's see if the blinkers stay on over the trip. But if he sees out the distance and everything works out, he won't find an easier opportunity. Number four, reach for the stars. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. 